There goes that plane again. <laughs> wow, incredible. Welcome back, guys. How are you doing? It's Iggy. Today, I wanted to do a look for you guys for a Valentine's Day. I wanted to create something really dramatic and fun for you guys. I know sometimes I can do a little bit more simple neutral eye looks. I wanted to do something a little bit more dramatic for the occasion because oh, why not? Valentine's Day is the day to be extra with your makeup. So I feel like this is a really great tutorial for you guys. So if you guys want to stay tuned to see how to get this Valentine's look, stay tuned and keep watching. So starting off this eye look, I'm gonna go in with some clear tape that I have. And just taking a piece of that, we're just gonna place this on the outer corner of the eye. And I wanna at least match it a little bit to where I feel like the tail end of my eyebrow would be, but not too high. So there's one down. Now let's try to see if I can match the other side, because that's the fun part. Because I can never actually make them even. <laughs> okay, I think I did pretty good. Hmm. Getting into the eye look, we're going to go in with our Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. I'm going to use that bottom black shade called Punk down here, and we're just going to pack this all over the eyelid. And I'm going to blend this into the crease, but don't put it too high. I would suggest starting off little as possible. With black shades, you don't want to apply too much because, you know, once you apply too much, there's really no going back. I always recommend to start off with a little bit on the eyelid as much as possible and then slowly build that up. And then once you've got that eyelid covered, then you can go into the crease and you can just start buffing it out. Oh, that is a look. Help me now. All right, so now that you got the eye look down, you should look like a raccoon when you've applied it. Just saying. Now to add some pink to the look, I'm actually gonna do a mixture of our Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette and our clay pot in this limited edition shade called Bubblegum, which I'm obsessed with currently. I've been using a lot, more so because my hair is pink, so. Any excuse to use this, I totally will. I'm gonna take that shade mod here and I'm gonna mix it in with that bubblegum shade from our clay pot. Those two shades, after I've mixed them, I'm gonna place this into the crease and then buff this out. We're almost finished with the eye look. I'm gonna go in with some Shape Tape Concealer and a brow brush here to cut the crease. Now that I went ahead and cut the crease, I'm gonna go in with our Sea Glass Eyeshadow in the shade Una Noche, and I'm just gonna place that where I cut my crease. I'm gonna go back in with that brow brush that I used to cut the crease, and I'm just gonna take this and kinda coat it in this brush, and then we're just gonna pack it on. So remember earlier when I mentioned that the eye look was almost over? Sorry. Next, I'm gonna go in with our clay pot in the shade black, and I'm just gonna take this and place this along the lower lash line. And I'm gonna be tight lining this so it's not gonna be super blown out. It's gonna be very, very clean and sharp, and I'm gonna connect it all the way to the rest of the eyeshadow. Thank you. 
All right, so this is the eye look so far. I took that black shade and just placed that along the lower lash line, connecting it all the way to my wing. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I placed that in my waterline as well. You guys can't already tell. Going back in with those two shadows that I used earlier, this is our bubblegum shade from our clay pot, and this is our Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette using that shade mod right here, just mixing those two, and then I'm gonna buff that along the lower lash line. So now I can finally say that we're going to finish up the eye look for real this time. I'm going to go in and apply a few light coats of our Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. And I really am, when I say I'm obsessed with these, I have not stopped using these. I actually had to just get a box out right now just to show you guys so that it looks nice in the box. But realistically, this is like what these have been living out of right now. These are the cruelty free lashes in the style of wifey. Alright, so to finish off the rest of my complexion for this look, I'm gonna go in with our Tardis Pro and Glow Blush palette. It's really nice because you can customize any one of these blushes together and you just get a really beautiful glowy finish. And I'm all about that. And I feel like for Valentine's Day, you can be really extra with it. So this is definitely a really great palette and it's also really good for just every day. So for the blush, I'm gonna go in with that shade Beat right up here. This is going to really complement the eye look so well. It's one of my favorite shades from the blush palette. Go in with that highlight shade up here called Solo. And oh my goodness, guys, this blush is... This blush. This highlighting. This blush. This highlight. Hi, how are you? I ain't gonna have nothing left on the palette after this. <laughs> take some of that and put it on the nose. And then I like to take whatever excess I have left and just put it onto the center of my head. Kind of gives that like J-Lo effect, you know? You just got that glowy skin everywhere. Especially right here, I like to put it between the brows. And bam, there you go. I'm gonna go in with our Tardis Cook Dry Matte Lip Paint and this is in the shade Festival. Alright guys, and there you have it. This is my Valentine's Day makeup look tutorial for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video on this look. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!